Hello everyone. Let's learn about averages today. I am sure you have heard the following. That's an above average school. The rainfall this year is below average. What's the average time taken to reach Mysore by car from here? We see the word average being used in each of these sentences. What exactly average means? Let us try to understand this. Let us take an example. There are three friends. Each of them have chocolates with them. The first one has five chocolates. The second one has two chocolates. The third one has two chocolates. Suppose if you want to distribute chocolates among them equally, how can we do this? Let's take two chocolates from first friend and give one to each of them. So now each of them will have three chocolates, right? So when we distribute the chocolates equally among all these friends, we see that each of them get three chocolates. The number three is the average number of chocolates each of these friends have. So how can we do the same thing mathematically? You know that when we want to distribute anything equally, we use divide. So what is that we have to divide? First, we have to find out how many chocolates we have. We have totally nine chocolates. How many friends are there? There are three friends. So if we divide nine by three, we can equally distribute the chocolates. We add the number of chocolates, divided it by number of friends, we'll get three. Three is the average number of chocolates. This is called average. Let us take one more example. Here you see the height of these giraffes. So let's assume the first one is six feet, second is seven feet, third one is nine feet, fourth one is 10 feet. Can you really distribute height of these giraffes? No. But let us, you know, imagine that we can do it. If we want to equally distribute their height, how can we do it? So from the first giraffe, let's take two feet and give it to this giraffe. Let's take one feet from this giraffe and give it to this giraffe. So the height of this giraffe will become eight. This will become eight. This will also become eight. This will also become eight. So eight feet is the average height of this giraffes. So how can we do it mathematically? As we had seen in the previous example, let us add all the height and there are four giraffes. If we divide this sum of all the height divided by number of giraffes, we'll get eight, which is the average. So if we pictorially represent this, the red line what you see is the average height. As you see, two giraffes are below the average height and two giraffes are above the average height. Now that we have seen what average is, how do you define average? Average is defined as sum of all given observations divided by number of these observations. We have seen in previous example, in the first example, it was number of chocolates divided by number of friends. In the second example, it was the height of all the giraffes divided by number of giraffes. So now you know that what average is, why do we need to learn it? What are its uses? First, when you want to compare something with that of a group, you need average. For an example, height, uh, as in case of giraffes, we saw that the average height was eight feet. And if you want to compare a giraffe's height with that of a group, you can say this giraffe's height is above average, which means above eight feet. And to get a general idea of a groups, for example, temperature, suppose if you are going to London for holiday, and if they say the average minimum 
temperature of London in the month of November is 2 degrees, then you will get an idea to pack more warm clothes. A point to remember about averages is that average will be in between the maximum and minimum values. What does it exam exactly mean? Let us look at the previous example. Here, the minimum height is 6 feet, the maximum height is 10 feet, the average which we have found is 8 feet. 8 is in between 6 and 10. Now let's solve some examples. In a test, Kamala has obtained following marks and we need to find the average of her marks. Here we see the marks obtained by Kamala. Let us find out the average mark. So how do we calculate average? Average is equal to sum of all observations. Here the observations is the marks. Now let us find out sum of all marks, which is 415. Then we we'll look at number of observations which is number of subjects, which is equal to 5. So average is equal to 415 by 5 is equal to 83. Here we say that average marks obtained by Kamala is 83. Now let's look at another example. Find the average of all odd numbers between 20 and 30. So. Uh, what are the steps to follow? First, let us find the sum of all odd numbers, which is 125. How many odd numbers are there in between 20 and 30? There are 5 odd numbers. So, average is equal to sum of all odd numbers divided by number of odd numbers, which is 125 by 5 is equal to 25. So, 25 is the average of the of all odd numbers between 20 and 30. Now let us recap what we have learned. We have learned that average is equal to sum of all given observations divided by number of observations. What are the uses? Uses when you need to compare something with a group you need averages and to get a general idea we have seen the uh, example of temperature. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have understood the concept of averages and its uses. If you have questions, please ask the same in the comment section. We will answer it at the earlier. If you have liked the video, share it with your friends. Thank you and all the very best.